All right, welcome back. We are running a new Geekbench um, application. Uh, we're running this uh, new Geekbench application to see uh, test the CPUs on these two devices. We have the Galaxy S23 Ultra on the left. We have the Google Pixel 7 Pro on the right. This has the new Snapdragon um, 8 Gen 2, and this has the new Google Tensor Chip 2. This one has 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. The Pixel has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. This um, is running Android 13. This is Google Pixel 7 Pro is running um, Android 13. It's on the beta, the beta release. So I just wanted to compare the two processors. I'm running a CPU benchmark. They have a GPU benchmark which I might do another video on, but I just, no, I have not, never run this. It's a brand new Geekbench app that was released just a week or two ago. It It's better at running and getting more accurate scores on these new CPUs. The other Geekbench that's real popular, <clears throat> that has, um, uh, that's better for, more geared for older and I say older, maybe two or three year old devices. This new Geekbench 6 um, test is gear really optimized for the new, new processors. And as you can tell, the new um, the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 blows away the Tensor 2 and the Google Pixel 7 Pro in performance. Look at that. So you have a single core score of 1704 on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, and you have a single core score of 1398 on the Tensor 2. Now, both of these are octa-core processors. And look at this multi-score. 4644 on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 3473 on the Tensor chip 2. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell, Galaxy S23 Ultra, Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now, I, I'm wondering, I bet the GPU performance, obviously on the S23 Ultra, would really probably still outperform the uh, Google Tensor chip, just because this is a super high performance, overclocked, just for Samsung, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. Now, as you can tell, we have the, you got the motherboards, you got the governors on here, uh, you got the model of the devices, you got the kernels are running, both Android 13, and then here you get down to the CPU. Um, let me get this out of the light, sorry about that. There we go. Really tells you here, breaks down the different chips. You got ARM. On the left, you got Tensor on the right, both octa-core processors, um, and you can really tell the clusters here on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it, it, it beats the um, performance gigahertz on these devices. Now, what I did to, to make this as fair as possible is I don't have any apps running in the background, um, and I actually cleared all my recent apps on both devices. I made sure every app was updated, I went into the App Store, updated every app, cleared all the recents. And then what I did is I restarted both phones. And then as soon as they restarted, I opened up the Geekbench um, app, Geekbench 6 app, and then ran the test. So there's no other uh, apps in the background using memory, nothing. Um, as you can tell, the... Memory size, these are both 12 gigs, um, but since Samsung has does have their Samsung apps, and I guess you could call it bloatware, but it's not that bad anymore. Google can allocate more RAM, more memory to their operating system because it is lighter. It's base stock Android. Um, and this will get down to the real scores here, so... 
you got the single core score on the left, 1704 on the pixel, 1398. Integer score, 1744 in the S23 Ultra. And then you got a 1394. Wow. That the Galaxy really blew blew this pixel out of the water. Um I kind of expected that. Let's see what else we got. Huh, basically every score the Galaxy just blew it away. And then here you go down to the multi-core. So, not a big surprise. Let's do, let's run a, uh, let's run a quick speed test. I have on these devices, I don't have any other apps in the background besides that Geekbench. Now, let's do this. Let's clear these out. Oh, I had the Play Store. Now, let's clear these out. Now, I have animations in the developer uh, settings. I have the animations turned off, completely off. Um, let's see, just a real, let's open some maps and just see which ones, which, which one can open apps a little faster. I have the same setup here, because you, as you can tell across the bottom, um, just this is tiny different but basically the same when we can go across let's see let me move this one over here let's do this okay so let's try this ready i'm gonna do the phone app on three one two three tie do the uh, messages apps on three one two three the Galaxy beat it by a split second. Let's go to Telegram on three. One, two, three. Basically a tie. Let's go to Gmail on the count of three. One, two, three. So just barely the Galaxy two out of the four apps beat it by literally a split second. Let's go to the camera on the count of three. Now, this this will hold a lot of RAM, so let's see which one opens up faster. I'm guessing the Pixel will, but let's see. On the count of three, one, two, three. Let's try it again. Clear all the apps on the count of three. One, two, three. Well, basically a tie. Wow. Let's do Google and we have three, one, two, three. Pretty close. Cool. So as you can tell, this has tons of performance. They're basically the same speed, right? The Pixel is blazing fast. The Galaxy is blazing fast. This one's going to be better for games. And this one's better for all around AI stuff. So... Um, glad you could see the comparison. Just wanted to test the performance between the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Both phones are top-notch. Both phones are flagship devices, premium build, and I really, really enjoy these devices. So you cannot go wrong with either one. I love this Pixel and really been enjoying this S23 Ultra so far. So, alrighty. Thank you for, for watching. Bye.